Today, we're looking at the Bizawile Coffee Frother. We're going to give this frother a try. And this frother, it has a hot, airy foam button for it. It has a hot, dense foam and heating milk. And it also says for best results to use whole milk because it forms a delicate and de dense milk froth. <laughs> I can hardly speak. I'm so excited. As you can see inside, there's what creates the froth, but it also heats it up. This is the heating element here. It's 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 a nice quality. It feels feels rugged. It's got a thick aluminum housing to it. And we're making coffee now so we can give this thing a try to see how well it works. It's got a, you call that a jug housing. You know, the handle feels secure that you can grip on it well so you don't have to worry about, you know, dropping it. It comes with an extra whisk for frothing. This is the power base that you're going to sit it on top of. And as you can see, it connects into the bottom like so. And there's pads here so you don't scratch your surface and it helps to secure it. It doesn't move as easy. And it has different levels. As you can see, it's got the max marking and it has the minimum. It has a plexiglass lid and it has a nice silicone seal around it so it seals everything in very well. And here are the features or the buttons. And you have the hot airy foam, you have a dense foam, you have heating the milk, and then you have a cold milk froth as well. And then you hit this to cancel them all. We have our coffee made. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some froth. And this is going to be the, the hot airy foam froth. Take it off the base as recommended. And then you go to the max bottom line. And as you can see, the milk that we're using is organic grass fed. That's really what anybody should be using. There's too many hormones and the other stuff. So we're going to the bottom of the max. There we are. Okay. And we'll place the lid. And this is a touch screen. So all I gotta do is just touch it. Here we go. Yeah, let's go through the process. This is the hot, airy foam mode. Time to completion. 130 to 160 seconds. All right, here's our coffee. And as you can see, it's the Mocha Master. We don't mess around here. <laughs> so let's give this a try. Move it from the base. All right. Wow. Here's the froth. Oh, yeah. Very rich and creamy. Okay. For my heart, baby. Yeah, I finally knew how. Okay, now we're going to try half and half. They say use whole milk. Now we're going to try half and half because that's what we like drinking our coffee with. We're just going to do the minimum on this one. All right. Put the lid on. All right, so here's the comparison between the whole milk and here's the half and half. There's really not much of a difference at all that I can tell. Of course, I'm not a professional frother and I usually don't froth my half and half, but I, I don't drink coffee black, obviously. For those of us that like the half and half, I recommend using half and half in it because it does have a better flavor profile for me. The milk's okay. It's got a nice texture to it. It's very airy. As you can see, it's holding its uh, form quite well. Yeah. Drink it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So what happens is 
you get the the just the coffee without the half and half in it and then as you're drinking it the foam will introduce itself that's a nice mixture nice nice flavor profile to it okay as you can see my lovely wife is going to be enjoying her froth coffee mm. ah, yummy now that's the whole milk let me compare <clears throat> whole milk I like to do what happened half and half. half, and half yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. The half and half wins it. <laughs> Make the cold froth. And as you can see, we're using half and half. Horizon Organic. That's the only way to buy this stuff. And we'll go to the minimum. And we'll click the snowflake icon. There we go. Off it goes. It's doing its thing. And we don't have to do nothing but sit here and enjoy our cup of coffee. No matter what, even if it takes time, it's still It's boring. still, I know, right? That thing works really good. Wow. Still for me. Impressed. And even on the spoon, it's still holding. Form. Here's the cold froth. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. The froth just comes right out. Oh my gosh! The the cold is better. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oui. Oh, make me another like that. <laughs> okay, this is the cold froth. Oh wow! It's very thick. Mmm, yummy. Can you form a heart? No. Oh wow. It is wow. All right. There you go. Oh yeah. I like the cold mixture. And then you hit the warmth of the coffee as you're drinking it. Hmm. Oh, I like that. What about me? What about me? I'll show you. Here is the... What you call it? The <laughs> cold froth. Ah, what's my name? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, isn't it? How the, I like the how cold. The cold and yeah. the warm I like the cold. With it. Yeah, that's nice. Is it good? It's yummy. We're drinking coffee. One a. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never sleep. Hmm. Thumbs up. Okay, when cleaning it, you're going to notice, of course, the heat's down here, so it's heating up the milk from the bottom, and you'll see a film of the milk forming at the bottom from the heat. So you want to make sure you clean this every time, and to clean it, you just pull up on the whisk. Really easy. It's got a little tab there to grab onto. And then I use some water. And then after I poured the water out, I just used a towel, wiped out the inside, and it took off the film of the milk that was at the bottom. All right, everyone. We've went through four cups of coffee trying this out. And we've tried all the modes, and we really like this. This works very well. Now, the key is the longevity of the unit. But as far as the functionality is concerned, it works really well. We highly recommend it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like our channel, subscribe. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Bye. We'll be up until 10.